Hey everyone, Eric here in the School Garden and welcome back to our channel. If you're new to the channel, make sure that you subscribe, like this video, comment, and don't forget to click the notification bell to be notified of when we drop new videos, which is every single week. For those that have already subscribed, thank you so much for coming back for another video. In today's video, as you see in my right hand, we have already started to harvest garlic. This is from the row on the other side of the greenhouse, which is right next to me. And we are going to harvest this entire row of garlic. We're gonna leave the onions in because they still have enough time until probably the first week of July to actually bulb and become larger. So as you can see, the garlic hasn't gotten that large this year. Like that's a pretty nice size hit of garlic, but it still could have got bigger. And I feel like we should have fertilized it a little bit more often than we did. Um, and the roots are so, the root, garlic roots are shallow, but these, have going a little deep and they are so the garlic itself is really hard to pull up but there's a pretty decent size of head of garlic
All right, guys, we roughly have right here in front of me 157 heads of garlic. 157, that's amazing. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna sit these heads of garlic inside the greenhouse and let them cure for about one and a half to two weeks. By the time that they are done curing, the roots will have dried off and then we can cut them away. The leaves will fully turn brown. Um, as you can see, some of them are turning brown now here and there but as we leave them in the greenhouse they will officially cure all the way and then we will be able to you know donate them and save some because some of them are a bit too small to actually donate to families and actually use in cooking but we can save the small ones in time for later this year when we start a new crop of garlic in the garden average size of garlic that we've been able to harvest well grow and harvest are this size they're about the the size of the palm of my hand and the smallest size is this one it's so small we have been able to harvest this amount of garlic we actually have so much more garlic in the in the garden we have about two and a half bed raised beds full of garlic and then we did leave some garlic in ground and because they were too small to harvest and so we were just leaving them until they really show us that they're ready to be removed by uh, having their leaves turn completely brown while they're still in the ground you can watch our video on well videos on how to grow garlic in your garden we made this video last year and last year we had so many more 
uh, heads of garlic that were larger. I, like I said before, I'm really sure that it's because we didn't really fertilize them as much as we did last year for the turn up the turnout that we had earlier this year when we harvested the garlic however watch those videos on how to grow, how to grow your own garlic so that you can become self-sufficient thank you guys so much for watching today's video if you like today's video make sure that you like and comment about what you like what you learned make sure to share this video also follow us on our socials we can be found on facebook and instagram at eb llc inc and on tiktok at project great until next time, we'll see you guys later in the garden. Bye.